I'm Tom. Welcome to Devil Trouble. Today we're taking a look at Escape Room the game. Now nowadays, um, most people know about these now, there are escape rooms all over America where a group of people will pay a whole lot of money to go into a room and they have one hour usually to escape from that room. Well, those are expensive. However, this what this does is it does the same thing, but there are four different kind of escape rooms that are in this box that you can get around a table and you can play that. Now, you've never actually been in an escape room and I've only done it once because, again, they're not cheap. Uh, but we did try this one out. There are four scenarios in here. There is the Prison Break, Virus, Nuclear Countdown, and Temple of the Aztec. We have played all four of these. What do you think? Are we ready to dump in? I'm not going to spoil anything in this, don't worry. But here's a little bit about how the game plays. exactly how the game works because I can't show you much but I can show you the chrono decoder now the chrono decoder is used for it's the main part of the game and on the back of it you have a switch where you can turn on it which shows 60 minutes each um, part of the game is going to take uh, 60 minutes so there are four different scenarios that you can run through each of these scenarios is going to play a little bit differently and just as a reminder we got prison break, you're trying to break out of a prison cell. Virus, trying to get out of a lab where a virus has broken out. A nuclear countdown, you're trying to stop a bomb. And a temple of the Aztec where you're searching for uh, treasure. Now, each of these is going to have different, and on the side of the box, they tell you how difficult they are. Two stars, two stars, three stars, and four stars. Also a little bit about each one. Each one's going to come with some envelopes. So here's Temple of the Aztecs, part one. You will read the story on the back. Um, and then you will look and see what the contents are. I'm not going to spoil this that much. And then you will take the contents out and you'll start the timer. Now the timer has some background noise on it. And you can use it if you want to. Uh, it, well, I mean, the, the background noise is very, very minor. But there's also a app that you can get for... Uh, the phone, which is Escape Room the game, and this gives more things. So let's say I was playing Temple of the Aztecs here. This basically has some music that you can play, um, that you can play during the course of the game, and if you do beat the game, you can press Escape, and it lets you take a picture, kind of like Escape Rooms let you usually do that. So while this is coming down, you are trying to find a code, and that code is going to revolve around keys. Every single one does the same thing. And you can look at these keys here, and you'll notice that these keys have triangles on the side, they have arrows, there's dots, there's letters, there's numbers, there's shapes, there's Roman numerals, and some keys are different on one side than they are on the other side. And what you're going to do is, once you think you know the combination, you're going to stick these four keys into the four keys that you think are the combination into the slots here. Now, I got that wrong which is likely because I just did it randomly. And so it took a minute off your time. So if you try to brute force it and just keep putting keys in, you're gonna lose a minute each time that happens. You know, I might say, okay, let's try, let's try this one here. Come on, come on, this has gotta be the one. And no, all right. Let's switch those out. So I'm getting these wrong. And that's not very useful. When you get them right, you'll hear like a little bring. And when that happens, you can open the next envelope. There's three envelopes. And when there's three codes, when you put in the third code and you hear the bring, then you've won that game. So you need to get three codes to win each game. How do you get these codes? How do you know how to do it? Well, that's up to each scenario. Now, that little noise that you just heard, that doo -doo -doo, um, happens at certain times. And each of the different uh, scenarios is going to come with hint cards. These hint cards tell you what time on the clock they'll go off. This one happens when there's only five minutes left. And you can see that these hint cards have this red stuff in the background and there's a hint code decoder thing so you put it in and you can read the hint. I put it in backwards because I'm again not spoiling anything here. Uh, these hints will help you hopefully on and this one here for example is part three. Hopefully you're on part three by that point in time. There's also other things on here. There are different code wheels on the side and on the front and over here, and you may need to use these over the course of the game. There may be parts of this that come into play 
Otherwise, everything you need is inside the uh, envelopes that you have, although you can use a, a calculator. Um, you, 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 there's other things that you might want to use or a pad of paper and things. Anyway, that's how you kind of play. Okay, there's really many things that we're going to talk about here. So we're going to talk about, first of all, number of players. The box here says um, that it's three to five players and 16 and over. <laughs> I guess it depends on the puzzle for the age. Right. Now, we played this with huh? Melody, who is 16, almost 17. Um, and we played with uh, the other two daughters, who are 14 and 12, almost 13. Um, and they... They would never have figured it out on their own, either one of them. But they were able to help us and do different things. This three to five players thing, though, I think every single one of these could be done with two people. Do you think so? Yeah. I feel like me and Melody, like we played three of the games we played with three people and one we played with four people. But in most of them, I would say you and I did most of the work. Right? Yeah. And, we, and if, if they hadn't been there... I think we still would have solved everything. Just longer period of time. Maybe. Now, let's, uh, so that's the age and the time. Let's talk about how hard they are. Uh, we beat three of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we beat the prison break, the uh, virus, and the temple of the Aztec, but we did not beat the nuclear countdown. <laughs> Although, I feel like I could have beaten it if we had had more time. I knew how to do the final part of it. And in fact, Nuclear Countdown I found was super interesting because it had us do something I did not expect, something I spent. A really, really long time doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm, uh, okay, but, okay so, but it was really cool, a little creepy, um, how it worked. Now, replayability. You're not going to be able to do these over again. Mm -hmm. The very first one does not destroy anything. So if you're finished with that, you can get someone else to play. But the last three, you are destroying or writing on or something with the pieces of the game. Yeah. So you won't be able to play those. What do you think of these keys and the whole and the whole chrono decoder thing? This was actually pretty fun because it actually felt like okay, we got to put this key in and that key. It actually felt like you're like um, like taking down like a bomb or a timer or something. Yeah. Like I did. The codes on this side. Did we use them all? Well, we can't tell people whether we use them all or not. <laughs> I don't know. You use them the most. <laughs> yeah, I was the code guy, and you were the figure the things out. There was, like, different papers and clues. There was some really obvious stuff that we missed. Yeah. Sometimes we would figure out the answer to something by accident. Yeah. And be like, oh, this is obviously it. And then later on, we're like, oh, we found clues to it. By the way, what did you think we, of the clue we cards? We cheated on the prison break one. We didn't cheat. Wait. That was cheating. What was cheating? Oh, okay. I know, Melody. So I actually, yeah, the prison break one, we got to the end and I could not figure out the last clue. But we had a lot of time left. But I knew three of the four <laughs> final numbers. So I said, all right, let's just stick each key in. We'll lose a minute each time, but we'll get it. As soon as we got it, we were like, oh, yeah, of course that's the right one because here's the very obvious clue on the board. Yeah. Um, so, and you can also go online and find out the answers to these if you can't figure them out. What did you think of the clue cards that they gave you, the beeps, the things that went off? So I thought they were really helpful, um, yeah, <laughs> because um, we would put the clues in, and it, unless we were like already ahead of it, sometimes it wouldn't be helpful. But yeah, but I always felt good when we were ahead of it. We're like, ah, yeah. oh, we're ahead of the game. Sometimes we never felt too far behind. Um, the nuclear one, we did. Oh yeah, the nuclear one. Okay, well, we're not talking about <laughs> that one. Um, e yeah, we never felt too far behind, but there were, and, and I think for a, most, there were, I would say, half the clues we didn't need. Mm -hmm. We knew them. But there were times we got a clue and we were like, oh. <laughs> You're doing oh. it wrong. Or sometimes we got the clue just as I figured it out and I was like, ah, oh, wow, okay. But it was kind of like when it would beep, you were like, huzzah. So if you want a really hard experience, you can play without the clues. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that that would work fine for many people, but and I, th I think we could have beat the first two without clues. Yeah. Did you think the fourth one was harder than the third one? I thought the third one was harder than the fourth one. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe just because we're better at certain kind of puzzles. Mm -hmm. That fourth one, there was some, again, it's kind of hard to, there was a certain kind of puzzle where I was like, I got this. You know, it was just kind of easy to figure out, although there was one tiny clue in the fourth one about oh. a specific thing that we were like, uh, how do we know this? Yeah, um, I'm, we still don't know how that worked. 
Yeah, we finally got the clue that said this is how this worked. We're like, okay, great. We were trying to figure out one of four different things. And again, it's hard to talk about these without, without spoiling it for you. Um, but what do you think about it? Was this worth playing? Would you, if they had Escape from the Game Part 2, would you get it? Oh, yeah, definitely. I just love doing these um, because it's like solving something. And if we don't, it really feels like, oh. Because, like, for a That's while. Right, we after, let the bomb go off. For a while, I was just like, kept thinking, I was like, what could have we done different? Because we really messed that up. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Do um, you, you feel like each one was very different? Um, the scenari scenarios were de definitely different. Some puzzles were kind of like the same, in my opinion. You think so? Because I thought they were, I thought they felt very different. There was a puzzle in the fourth one that you figured out how to do it. And I never would have figured that out. Um, that very first one uh, first. was a kind of a three-dimensional style puzzle. Oh. And she figured out how to do the puzzle, but then she couldn't read the clues. And I was like, boom, I see the clues. But I wouldn't have figured out the puzzles. And then we feel like, teamwork! teamwork. <laughs> so that was neat. Uh, I highly recommend this. I really do. You might say, oh, well, it's only four hours of play, but it's four really good hours. And this is way cheaper than paying for four or five people to go into an escape room four times. And I think it gives a great experience. I think you'll talk about each one of these is just super fun. Um, this device keeps the sound going in the keys. You know, uh, I, I don't, but there's six times, six times, six times, six combinations of keys, uh, but you only have 60 minutes. So that's not going to work. Uh, for you. I brute forced the one, but I don't recommend it. Uh, highly recommend it for me. And I hope they make more games. Yeah, because we'll definitely want to try these out. Mm -hmm. Really fun. That's Escape Room, the game. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. And I'm Melody. And this has been Double Trouble. Boom. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.